welcome to Children's Worship here at Mayo Church. I hope that you and your family are doing well. This is the Sunday that we celebrate the birthday of the church called Pentecost. So I am excited to be in worship with you today, celebrating God's good gift of the Holy Spirit. Let's get ready to be in such a special place of worship with God. Worship is special because God is here. He's here in this place and he's here in the place where you are. In this place of worship, you can kind of slow down your, your mind a little bit, slow down your bodies a little bit, and be still with God. You can take all the time you need here in this worship place. It's a special place to be with God, to talk with God, to listen to God, and to hear the stories of God. Let's get ready to be in such a special place. One way to get ready to be in a special place is to sing praise to God. Let's greet one another with praise this morning. I'll say, this is the day the Lord has made. And you say, let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let's do that together. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let's sing that worship song together. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made, we will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let's praise God, who is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. You can take your fingers and make a K using sign language by holding up two fingers and then sticking your thumb in the middle of them like that. Then we're going to cross our chest and then we'll switch to an L. Lord of lords. Ready? King of kings and Lord of lords, glory. Hallelujah, King of kings and Lord of lords, glory, hallelujah, Jesus, Prince of peace, glory, hallelujah, Jesus, Prince of peace, glory, hallelujah. And then you might want to sing it some more, maybe going faster or maybe going really slow. Let's go faster this time together. King of kings and Lord of lords, glory, hallelujah. King of kings and Lord of lords, glory, hallelujah. Jesus, Prince of peace, glory, hallelujah. Jesus, Prince of peace, glory, hallelujah. Now let's sing it very slow. King of kings and Lord of lords, glory, hallelujah. King of kings and Lord of lords, glory, hallelujah. Jesus, Prince of peace, glory, hallelujah. Jesus, Prince of peace, glory, hallelujah. Now it's time to give our thanks to God. You can say something you're thankful for or something about how you feel today. You can talk out loud to God about things that make you happy or things that make you sad. You can talk out loud about God with your families where you're watching. So you might want to take a few minutes and share these things with each other. Or if you don't want to talk out loud to God, that's okay too because God listens even when we don't speak out loud. So let's get ready to pray. I'll say, let us give thanks to the Lord our God. And you say, it is right to give our thanks and praise. Let's do that together. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Take a few minutes and say what you're thankful for to God today. Share that with your families. I'm thankful today for God's good gift of the Holy Spirit and for the birthday of the church. You might wanna sing happy birthday to the church. And share what you're thankful for. 
Let's pray together. God, we are so thankful for this chance this morning to be in worship with you. And we thank you for the gift of your spirit that is with us. We thank you that you are always near. And we ask God that you would be with those who are in need. Hear our prayer, Lord, as we pray together, as Jesus taught us how to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him all creatures here below. Praise him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Let's sing the song of praise called Father, I Adore You. That reminds us that God is three in one. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. So we'll sing to God, we'll sing to Jesus, and then we'll sing to the Spirit. Father, I adore you. Lay my life before you. How I love you. Jesus, I adore you. Lay my life before you. How I love you. Spirit, I adore you. Lay my life before you. How I love you. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. And when we sing these words, we know it's time to get ready to hear one of God's stories. So cross your legs and put your hands in your lap and watch closely for the story of Pentecost today. One day, after God made Jesus alive again, Jesus said to his disciples, God is going to give you a special gift, the gift of the Holy Spirit. So you can do what I have done and say what I have said. You will not see me any longer, but remember... I will be with you always. I will be with you in every time and every place. And then Jesus ascended to God. Later, God gave the disciples the gift of the Holy Spirit. When they received the gift of the Holy Spirit, they received seven gifts.
They received the spirit of wisdom. Let's enjoy God's spirit of wisdom. They receive the spirit of understanding. Let's enjoy God's spirit of understanding. They receive the spirit of counsel. Let's enjoy the spirit of counsel. They receive the spirit of might. Let's enjoy the spirit of might. They receive the spirit of knowledge. Let's enjoy the spirit of knowledge. They receive the spirit of awe of God. Let's enjoy the spirit of all of God. They receive the spirit of joy in the presence of God. Let's enjoy the spirit of joy in the presence of God. When the disciples received the Holy Spirit and these wonderful gifts of the Spirit, they were filled with so much love that they began telling about Jesus and showing the way to the kingdom of God. They did this in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and eventually throughout the whole world, all the way to here where you are in Paintsville, Kentucky or where your house is, God's love was carried through the whole world and is still carried by these gifts of the Holy Spirit. I wonder how the disciples feel when they receive these gifts of the Holy Spirit. I wonder what they will do with these gifts. I wonder what you can do with these gifts. These gifts of the Holy Spirit are still given to all who follow Jesus, are baptized, and receive God's gift of the Holy Spirit. They help us to love God, to follow Jesus, and to show the way to the kingdom of God. Now these gifts don't stay in this room. They are with us wherever we are. Let's change the candles to help us remember that God's gifts are with us always, in every time, in every place. The spirit of wisdom is with us. The spirit of understanding is with us. The spirit of counsel is with us. 
the spirit of might is with us. The spirit of knowledge is with us. The spirit of awe of God is with us. And the spirit of joy in the presence of God is with us in all places. Now I'm going to light the Christ candle while we read this story in God's Word. You might have a Bible of your own at home that you can use to find this story. Remember, we light the Christ candle to remind us that Christ is with us as we hear the Word of God. This is the Bible. The story that you heard today about the gifts of the Holy Spirit and about Pentecost and the birthday of the church, they're in this book. Here in the children's worship room, there's a marker showing us where to find this story. The one we're gonna read is in the book of Acts. See if you can find it in your Bible. After his suffering, he showed himself to these men and gave many convincing proofs that he was alive. He appeared to them over a period of 40 days and spoke about the kingdom of God. On one occasion, while he was eating with them, he gave them this command, Do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift my father has promised, which you have heard me speak about. For John baptized with water, but in a few days, you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in Judea, and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. This is the word of God, for we the people of God. Thanks be to God. I'm going to change the light so that it's not just in one place anymore, but so that it can be in many places at once. Watch. Now the light that was in one place can be in all places at all times. I wonder if you'd like to make something today that shows how you feel about these gifts of the Holy Spirit. How do you feel about the birthday of the church? You might can make a birthday card for the church. You could send it and mail it to us. I would love to get some mail from you. We'll put our address here so that you can know where to send it. You can send mail to your church here at Mayo Church. You could make this your work today. Or you could find some other way that you could continue worshiping God and thinking about these gifts of the Holy Spirit. Maybe you could go outside. You could sing a song. You could write or draw. There's lots of ways that you can respond to God and that you can listen. Let me send you forward with a blessing. Let's sing the song Shalom together as we go forth in Christ's peace. Shalom, my friend, shalom, my friend, shalom, shalom, till we meet again, till we meet again. Shalom, 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 my friend, shalom, my friend, shalom, shalom, till we meet again, till we meet again. Shalom, shalom. The love of God go with you. Go in Christ's peace. Amen.